Hello, Joe. Hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. How is everybody today? Fine, thank you. Good, good. Good, good. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, cool. So we have a full class today. All right. Hello, so, Joe. Hello, hey, Yasin. Okay, guys. So my name is Joe, and today we're going to be talking about. Um, Hold on, somebody's microphone's very loud. Okay, so my name's Joe, and today we're going to be talking about vocabulary related to transportation. So we're going to be talking about um, cars, so like the, the the parts of a car on the inside, not not on the motor or anything, but the like inside cylinder. of a car. Like what? Cylinder. Cylinder. Like, can you cylinder. C-Y-L-I-E-N-D-A-R. Cylinder. Cylinder. What do you wait? What do you mean, cylinder? Inside car, four cylinders. Oh, 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 fill four cylinder, cylinder. Cylinder. Cylinders. Uh -huh. Cylinder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we will not be talking about that. We're just going to be talking about, um, like the sea, like like the vocab. I'll show you because I have pictures and stuff. But before. Uh -huh. Yeah, before we do that, we're just going to have everybody go through and introduce themselves and say where they're from. So to start, my name is Joe, and I'm from Arizona in the United States. And then next, I think we have Daniel. Daniel. Hi. Hello. Hello. I'm Daniel. I'm from Brazil. From Brazil. Okay, welcome. Yes. Thank you. Um, Erdem. Can you hear us? Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi. Where are you from? Can you hear me? Yes. I do. He has a problem with this one. I'm from Turkey. From Turkey. Okay, cool. Welcome. Um, Gamze? Hello? <laughs> Gamze, can you hear us? <laughs> Sounds like she can't hear us, okay. Um, Junaid? Yes, uh, my name is Junaid and uh, I'm from Arizona, United States. Arizona. Okay, wait, J Junaid, where are you from in Arizona? What city? I'm from Tucson. Tucson. Mm -hmm. Really, that's where I, that's where I live right now. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. Okay. Welcome, Sebastian. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Sebastian, and I'm from Santiago, Chile. Chile. Cool. Okay. Then Sumaya. Sumaya. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, I'm from Morocco. From Morocco. Cool. Yeah. Okay, welcome. And then Tarke? Tarke? Tarik. Tarik. Hello, my name is Tarik. I'm from Egypt. From Egypt. Okay, welcome. Yes. Awesome. Thank and you. then Wolfgang? Yeah, um, it's, it's Shane, and I'm from China. Shane, okay. Cool. And then Yasin? Yes, I'm Yasin Safi. I'm from Damascus. I live in the United Arab Emirates. Okay, cool. Welcome, Yasin. Okay, it looks like we have one other person. Jose, where are you from? Peru. From Peru. Okay, cool. All right, welcome, everybody. Glad you are all here today. So, the first thing we're going to do is start with the vocabulary related to a car. So, I'm going to share my screen with you. I took a few pictures of my car, and so I'm going to share those with you, and then we're just going to go through, and I'm going to use my mouse to point to some things, and then um, 
I'm going to write them on the side. So I'll have a little notepad on the side, and so I'll point to it with my mouse, and then I'll write it on the side so you can see how that word is spelled. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. Um, before I do that, though, somebody's Tarek. It sounds like you. It sounds like your uh, audio is picking up the background noise. Is there any way you can can grab some headphones? Okay. <laughs> sounds like it went away. Good. Okay, can you guys see this? Can you see the, this window right here with the pictures? Yeah. Okay. Those. So, yes? No. Can you see the pictures or no? No. We can see multipliers, multipliers pictures. Now okay, here, picture. we, here we go. Yeah, now we can see. Blue car. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So this is, we're just going to start from the outside. So can you guys see my mouse? Yeah. Tire? No, no, the mouse. The we mouse. The mouse yeah. This, the little hand that's moving around? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. yes. Okay, so I'm going to pull up um, a new note. So let me just move these real quick. Um, there we go. And this, move that. Okay, so now I have you know. So the first thing we're going to do is start with the outside. So um, does anybody know what this, this word is right here? Tire, display, uh, tire plate? No. No. Tire. No. no, this, tire? the inside of the tire. Well, yes, the whole thing is a tire, that's correct. But the inside, yes, it's missing a hubcap, actually. Oh, it's missing. Well. We can't put the hubcap there. Yeah, so you usually put a hubcap there because this is actually a rim. A rim? Yes, so it's called, you could call it a tire rim or rim for short. Can everybody see this where I wrote it? Yeah, see, can you write it? Yeah. No. Let's, uh, let's see if I can make this a little bigger. Um, actually, I have a better idea. I will pull up Word and make the font very big. So that is called a rim. Yes. So yeah, you can put a hubcap there, which is usually what it looks like. But um, um, but I don't I don't have hubcaps. Okay. So so then um, so you have you usually put a, a a hubcap on the rim, then you have the tire. Okay. So everybody can see that. So um, obviously right here we have the door handle. Okay. Door handle. Yes. So right here, so this thing is called a door handle. So like, um, usually people just say handle for short. Like, like, can you grab? Like, can you open my door? Can you use the door handle? Open my door. Um, so you have a door handle here, and you have a door handle here. Then you have this, which is where you stick it. Sounds like somebody's phone is going off. These guys turn okay. off your phones. There we go. Cool. So we have the door handle or handle for short. Yeah. Then this little hole where you're sticking the key, that's called the keyhole, which is um, pretty self-explanatory. Keyhole. Um, then over here you have um, the gas tank. So there's a little door. This is the little door for the gas tank. And there's a button on the inside that you hit, and it will open this up. And then that's where the gas tank is, where you put in the gas. So gas tank. Gas tank. Yes, gas tank. Uh huh. Um, then, then you have the bumper of the car, which is this bottom piece right here. And then this whole, just this this whole part of the car that's blue, that's just called the body of the car. This oh. is the hood. What's it's called hood? Yes. It's double OD. Uh, no, no, no. I'm just I'm talking about the whole thing in general. That's the body of the car, but the hood is this piece right here. Can you see this where I have my mouse? Uh huh. Yeah. That's so. That's yeah. the hood of the, the car. Of the engine. 
Yes, it's the cover of the engine. I mean, it depends on the car, because some cars, like Porsches, have the engines in the trunk. Yeah. So, the, yeah, that's this is the trunk right here. So you have um, hood in the front. Oops, I spelled that wrong. So it's H-O-O-D. That's the hood right here in the front. Then you have the trunk, which is in the back. So the hood is where the engine is. Yeah. And to open the hood, you have to get you have to... Um, pull something in the. You have to like pull a switch in on the inside of the car. Then you can lift up the hood and work on the engine. Uh, then in the trunk, you usually like in my car. In the trunk, I have a sound system. I have just some dirty clothes, and I have <laughs> um, I have a spare tire. Do you guys know the word spare tire? So it's your yeah, extra yeah. tire. Yeah. Yeah. Tire. yeah exactly. Um, and so I don't know if you can tell, but my windows are a little dark. So what's that? That is called um, tinted windows. Tinted. Tinted. Yeah. So what that means is they get a sh they get a, a, a sheet of plastic that's kind of like a dark purple, or sometimes it's close to black, and they put it over your windows. So they put it like all over the window here. Sometimes in the front too all over here and so that way it's harder to look into the car so when somebody's when, when your car is hard to look into it might be because your windows are tinted so somebody might say like hey your windows um, look tinted I think some countries uh, it's not allowed so. yes I, I'm sure you're right yeah and you only can have it tinted to a certain point because um, it's it has to do with like the law and the police want to be able to see yeah. who's in the car so it's just kind of um, that safety stuff so yeah so you have the hood um, you have up here these things that wash the windows those are called um, wind windshield wipers so my car only has them in the front, but most newer cars have them in the back as well. So they wash your window. So they're called windshield wipers. Mm -hmm. So see, that's how it's spelled, windshield wipers. Okay. And then I think the last thing you have is um, this thing right here, which is called your side mirror. Yep, exactly. Side, side view. Oops. Like this, side view mirror. So yeah. Okay, so now just to review real quick, just to make sure um, everybody understands all the words that I've explained, um, I'm just gonna hide this and go through. So I think the first person we have was Daniels. What is this part called? Dem. Rim. Rim. There you go. Perfect. Good pronunciation. Yeah. Rim. Rim. Okay, and then edit them. Um, what is this called right here? Uh, and door handle. Door yes. handle. Yasin? Was that you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna ask, so when I say your name then then just uh respond. Oh, okay, so, sorry. Yeah. No worries. Okay. Junaid, um what is what are these called right here? It's, uh, that that wash the window. Wiper? Yeah, there you go. Windshield wipers. wipers. Yes. Uh huh. Good job. Okay. Um. How about Sebastian? What is um? What is inside this little door? What's inside there? Sebastian. Okay. Sounds like he cannot hear us. Okay. So we'll move on to the next person. So, Sumaya. Is that how you pronounce your name? Kostek. Sebastian? Who who said that? Okay. It's it's a fuel tank. Yes, exactly. Okay, so um good job, yeah. That's a fuel tank, gas tank, same thing. Okay. And then Tarik. What is yes. this called? Right here. Hood? What is this part of the car called? Right here in the front. Hood? Yep, exactly. Um, sounds like somebody has the verbling window open in the background. No, I think the, they, they don't use the headphones. 
background. What'd you say? They don't use the headphone. So that could that could be it too. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can't tell who it's coming from, but it sounds like it went away. Okay, so it sounds like we got all of them. I think, um, except we have two left. So, um, Shane, I'm sorry. What, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, what is it called? What is this called when your windows are darker? Uh, tinted window. Exactly. Yep. Good job. Okay. And then Yasin, what is this part of the car called? Trunk. Yeah, this is the trunk, but this part below it. What is this called? Chasse? I don't know. Bumper. Bumper. Yes, exactly. Good job. Yeah, so you can kind of see this line, so it's its own piece. It's a part of the body, and it's just the bumper. The bumper from the back and uh, in front of the car? Yeah, so in the front, you have a front bumper, and you have the back bumper. So, yeah. Mm hmm Okay, so now we'll move to the inside of the car. Okay, so um, same thing. Um, erase all these words. And we'll start with the inside of the car. So um, this red thing, I don't know if you guys have ever... Does anybody know what this is? Drill. What was it? Security lock? Yes, exactly. It's called a steering wheel lock. And so the way it works is it goes in the middle of your wheel right here, and then it extends out so that it can't move it all outside of the wheel, and you lock it. And then this part sticks out, and so if someone were to break into your car, the and they would try and turn the wheel, so if they turned it down to the right, then this part would hit the seat, so they, would, they wouldn't be able to turn the wheel all the way. So that's how it protects your car. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty clever. Um... Yeah, okay, so it's a steering wheel lock. Then, up here, you kind of have your, you could just call that, like, your air conditioning controls. But most people might just say, like, hey, where where can I change the air conditioning? So you have, right here, you have a knob um, to, to turn on the air conditioning. So you have your AC, which I th think... I think it's in for air conditioning, but I could be wrong. It might just be like air cooling or something like that. I'm not sure. But either way, air conditioning um, looks like that. So you have obviously cold and hot. You have a slider right there. Then you have all these options. So you have this button, which I'm going to see if I can zoom in on it for you guys. Um, we call this button or switcher or um, switch. You, oops. You can call this... Um, like which like you'd probably call it a button. I button. mean you could, you could use switch too. But yeah, that's a good question. You could just probably call it button. That's what I would call it. Like which button do I hit to make the air turn on? So this button, it's kind of hard to see, but what it is is it's an outline of a car with an arrow that's kind of like in a circle. And so that's called like um recirculating the air. So what that means is if you hit this button, then all of the air that's inside of your car is just going to recirculate. As in, your car is not going to take in any air from the outside. So that might be a good way if you want to, if you want the air to get colder faster, or if you want the air to get um, warmer faster, you might hit that button. And if you don't, then it'll just bring in the air from the outside, which could be, you could bring in like, few, like uh, smoke from another car, or just like any of the uh, the bad smells of outside and then right here you have um, this button just brings the air that's like kind of near your face which I'll show you in a second this one does you near your face and near your feet this one does your feet and this one does your feet and um, Joe, we don't see the picture again. you can't see the picture yeah okay can you see it now yeah. okay thank you for telling me Okay, so like I was saying, this button, you should see that the air comes from the front, um, like near your face. This is your f near your face and your feet. This is near your feet. This is near your feet, and um, it also does this button, which this button is, um, if it's really cold outside and it's kind of hard to see through your windshield, you hit this button, 
and some of the heat rises near the front of your windshield and then it's easier to see. And then this button, does anybody know what this button's called? This is for stop emergency light. Emergency light. Stop signs. Yes, emergency <laughs> lights, it's called uh, a hazard. Alert. Yes, uh-huh. Hazard. hazard. Has yeah, you call them your hazards. Like if you're if something's not working or you need to to stop for some reason if it's an emergency, somebody might say like, "Hey, put on your hazards." Like if you're with them. So, that's that. Um, then we'll zoom back out. Um, so let's see. Let's go to the steering wheel. So right here, we just have your horn. So some cars, when you hit the middle of the wheel right here, that's where the horn is. But on mine, I have a horn button right here and then one on the other side. So if I hit that, the, the horn goes off. So um, that doesn't, it's not really, you, don't, you wouldn't call it a button. You would just call it the horn. Like, hey, how do I hit the horn? Um, okay, and then right here, a lot of newer cars are starting to have more controls right here built into the steering wheel. Um, my car has three buttons. One is um, to accelerate. So what this is, it, it controls, it's, it works with your cruise control. Does anybody know what the, the cruise control is? I think the cruise control, uh, when you go to the highway and you have a... Uh, Yes. Lock the speed. Exactly. Perfect. Lock the speed. Yeah. So what you do is, if you're going on the freeway and you don't want to hold in the pedal, you might, um, you might hit the uh, the cruise control. And then if you need to go faster while you're in con cruise control, you can hit this button at the top right here where it says A C C E L. And that stands for accelerate. Accelerate like that. So that's if you need to go faster in cruise control, but you don't want to take off cruise control. So maybe if you need to speed up because you're going too slow, then you hold in that button, and then your cruise control speed is going to go up. So if you were going 65 and you hold it in, it may go up to 70, and then your speed is stuck at 70. But if you need to turn it off, you can hit cancel right here. But if you haven't set it on at all, then what you can do is it's called coast set. So when you're going 75 and that's the speed you want to put the cruise control on, you hit coast set and then um, that's the speed it will lock it on. So that's how that works. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but um, down here where you, where you control the gas and the brake, so this thing, this is called a pedal. So it's called the gas pedal and brake pedal. And in cars that are automatic, at least I don't know how they are in other countries, but in the United States, you have the gas on the right and the brake on the left. And when you're taught how to drive, they teach you to use yeah, only yeah. one foot. So I don't know if it's different in any of the other country, but... Um, I think that they use the manual. They have another one. Uh, it's called, I think, clutch. Yeah, yeah, the clutch, exactly. Yeah, so the way oh, yeah, that's... I mean, in Santiago, it's like that. Was that Sebastian? Okay, I don't know who that was. Anyways, okay, so yeah, that's on the similar, similar to Tetronic. Similar to what? Tetronic. Tetron. Manual. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. So you have yeah. It's called automatic. So if somebody says like, "What's your car? Is it automatic or manual?" That's, that's the question. So it just means is the transmission automatic, as in it shifts on its own. And if it's manual, then right here you have the shifter. So this, this is still called the shifter right here. I'm going to zoom in a little. Gear switcher. Yeah, gear switcher, exactly. Yeah, it's just called, you just call it the shifter, though. Like, hey, I need to shift gears. So that looks like this. Shifter. But yeah, it's it's how yeah, well, like you said, Yasin, it's how you shift gears. Okay, and so then um, this is gonna vary depending on the car. But in my car, you have this little black thing, and it slides out, and it's called a cup holder. Oh, cup holder, yeah. Yeah. So so you if you go to like I don't know if you're going if you have a drink and you want to bring it in your car, you're gonna pull that out, and then you'll have two spots for drinks. So that's just called your cup holder. Um, then in here, this is just an empty compartment um, for uh, 
I don't know. You could put your sun. Um, I put my sunglasses there, um, but you can put CDs or anything there. Then right here you have your. Yes, but it's called. Uh, we call it the cigarette lighter. Mm -hmm. Cigarette lighter. Mobile so, yeah. charger. Yeah, exactly. You, yeah, you can you can plug in your uh, your mobile char charger into that and um, charge it. So yeah, that's that. And then to the right of that, you have um, what is this? Cigarette called? holder. Cigarette holder. Yeah, well, in my car, it's not a cigarette holder. It's a. Uh, it's like for your. It is. Is it is a cigarette holder? That's true. Um, cigar. Oops. Cigarette. Or bin. B i n. Cigarette bin. Yes. Holder slash bin. Yes, but um, actually, a lot of people call it like, like a change holder, because most like a lot of people don't smoke, and when they don't smoke, they usually just put they keep like extra change there. So I call it like my change holder. Like, hey, where do you keep your change? Like right there in the cigarette holder or the cigarette bin or the change holder. So yeah, that's that. And then this, this is just there are lots of words for this, but most people call it the stereo. The technical word for it, though, is head unit. Um, I don't know where that come from, where that comes from or anything, but when I went and bought it at the uh, the like car the audio car audio store, um, they they told me it was called a head unit. So you have like a USB um, plug-in for like an iPhone or an iPod. You have an auxil. Uh, this part right here is called an auxiliary port. For what that? An auxiliary port is for okay. So you know on mobile phones how if you plug in headphones, even on computers too, you have like he, it's called like a headphone uh -huh. port for the headphones. Mm -hmm. I get it. The technical name for that is auxiliary port. So yeah, that's that. Um, then you just have the knob, like volume knob, to turn up the volume. So like this thing that turns, it's called a knob. Knob or a wheel. Um, it's called a knob. No. You could say you could say wheel, and you would be understood. But the majority of people call it a knob. But yeah, that's 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 a good question. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Excuse me. If there's any. Yes. Question. What you say about the brake and the accelerator? Oh yeah. So the brake and the the gas pedal. So, good question. Yeah, we say pedal. Like this. Here, I'll write it for you. P E D A L pedal. Where are you chatting? Because I cannot see anything. You can't. I okay. Okay. Um. Let's. Also, it's not available for me. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah, see so if for I... me. Tell me if you can see it now. No, okay. that's okay. No. Okay. Okay yes. now. Yeah. Okay. Th thank I you. It's easy to remove this document and write it in the chat. Okay, yeah, the only thing is, though, like, whenever I go back to write it in the chat, then you guys see me writing in the chat, and the picture goes away. But it looks like somebody wrote it. Kaya wrote it. Oh, Thank you. Oh, yeah, I know that. Joe, I cannot see anything. Also, can me. It's not available for me. On the chat one of Google Chat, you can write it. Because if you go to the chat, they lose the, the picture. Yeah, okay, so... Okay. Can you guys, so you guys probably see like a ton of windows right now, right? Yeah. 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 Okay, so that's what happens when I write it on the chat. That's the only reason I'm writing it in this document. Um, okay. I think what I can do is, I'm just going to do this real quick. It's, it's a website called Type With Me, and I'm just going to open a new document, and then I can share it with you. And then um, I'll pull that up on the side, and so you guys can also pull that up on the side. So let's just see one sec. Okay. What it is is it it's a it's like an online tool for writing with somebody. So like if I write it and somebody else writes it, like we can write it at the same time. It doesn't look like it's working though. So I'm going to go back to this. Is this okay right here? Or do you want me to make the the te I can make yeah, the text okay. bigger. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, yeah. So what I was saying is, this is you can call it this pedal on the right is either called the gas pedal or the accelerator. So the way accelerator looks like this, accelerator, like that. So DV on DT. What? We call it in the physics DV uh, in math DV slash DT. 
Yes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I know. I know what you're talking about. Uh huh. So yeah. So you can call that. I usually call it the gas pedal. Like, hey, get your foot off the gas pedal, or like, hey, slow down. Like, let off. Like another uh, expression might be like, sure. let off on the gas pedal. Sure. Your, what? Your, your chat is uh, <laughs> My chat is what? Your battery is low. Oh, you're right. Oh, thank you. I have my cord. Thank you for telling me that. Do you not want the class yeah. ending early? Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, so move on to the next picture. I th double check. Yeah, so so actually before we move on, we're just going to test you guys real quick. So, Erkin, um, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Okay. What is this device, or what is this tool called right here, this device? I forget. You forgot. Okay, it's called a steering wheel lock. So I'm going to write it for you. Okay. Steering wheel lock. Steering like that. wheel lock. Steering wheel lock. Steering wheel lock. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Um, well, them. Can you hear me? Wheel yes. lock. Okay, what is this little button right here called? The horn. Yep. Good. Horn. Horn. Uh huh. Okay. Um, Jun Junaid. Yes. Um, what is this called right here? This thing. Uh, the shift gear. Yeah, shifter. 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 Uh huh. And that looks like this. S H I F T E R. Shifter. Good. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Norman, are you there? Newman. Okay, it does not sound like he or she's here. Okay, Sophia? Yeah. Okay, what is this thing called right here? Um, um, I don't know. Uh. Okay, it's called, there are two names. It's called a stereo, which is the common name. But it, stereo, as in S-T-E-R. Yeah. Or you can call it a head unit. Yeah, but head unit. Sorry. Joe, what's the difference between stereo and mono? Stereo and, and mono, that refers yeah. to speakers. So you have two types of speakers. You have stereo speakers and mono speakers. So that's it's usually... It's not mean radio. Head unit. What did you say? You mean stereo, it's like radio, but mono not uh, means radio, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so um, I think stereo is more than one speaker. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so uh-huh. Mono, you have just one speaker. Yep, exactly. Well said. That's exactly. Uh -huh. That's exactly it. Uh-huh. Uh, Joe, what's the console? What is what? The console. The console? Yes. I will show. I have a picture of that. That's a good question. I'll uh, I'll show you when it comes up. But there's a thing called the middle console, and I'll show you when we get to it. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to go over one last thing. Do you guys see these things right here? The little black things? Yeah. yeah. Those are called vents. V-E-N-T-S. Yeah. For so conditioning? Those, yep. Uh-huh. Exactly. Air vents for your condition for your air conditioning. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, let's see. Who's next? Um, oh, shoot. How do you... Um, Turk, right? Turk? Yes. Okay, Tark. Okay, um, what is this thing called right here? I'll zoom in on it for you. This this gray thing right here. Do you remember the lighter? name? Lighter? Lighter? Cigarette lighter. There you go. Yes, yeah, cigarette lighter. Uh huh. Cigarette lighter. Yeah. There you go. Cigarette lighter. Okay. Um, Shane. Mhm. Mm um, what is this called? There, there are like two, three names. What is this called? Uh, it could be cigarette holder or uh -huh. change holder. Perfect, exactly. Uh -huh. I don't know what, what the other one is called. Yeah. Or cup uh, holder. Cup holder? Yeah, this is a cup holder above. Good job, Sophia. Okay. But this can also be called a cigarette bin, as in B I N. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. Okay. Cigarette bin. Uh huh. No. Okay, um, let's see. Who do we have next? Uh, Yasin. Yes. Let's see. Um, what what is this called? This this whole thing. 
what oh. uh, this uh, yes what would you controller yeah, exactly yeah air conditioning controls or just air conditioning uh, controller yeah uh huh conditioning controller yeah most people just say like 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 air conditioning controls sounds like the the most natural mm -hmm. okay and then who do we have last uh, Yasir can you hear us okay it does not sound like he can hear us okay so we move on to the next picture does ever does anybody have any questions before I move on no okay uh, excuse me, I have a question. Yes, question? Uh, what, uh, uh, the speed meter. Speed yes, meter? I have another picture of that, but mm -hmm. what it's called, this is called the speedometer. Speedometer. Yeah. Speedometer. 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 It looks like speedometer, but it's pronounced speedometer. Okay. Speedometer. Uh huh. Good question. Any other questions? And the other one, gasometer. This Gas one. Meter. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, th this one is like called your. I don't know the technical name. It's like called RPM meter. Yeah, R RPM oh. meter. Well done, Yasin. Yeah, well, yeah, technical. good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mechanical engineer. Ah, okay, oh, okay, okay, that makes sense then. <laughs> okay, yeah. So RPM so meter. So what is the huh? name? RBO, RBO meter, meter? R yeah, like this. R R R RBM, RBM, it's a shortcut of uh, round per minute. Oh, okay. RPM. Rounds per minute. Meter. Rounds per minute, okay. I see, yeah. Uh -huh. Thank you for that, Yasin. I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> Rounds per minute, meter. Okay. Okay, any other questions before we move on to the next? Uh, Joe, what is the name of the wheel? The second name of the wheel that Yasin said mentioned it uh, in the for no. volume. For the what? For volume or what is this? Oh, uh, this. The, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Um, it's a noob or uh, a knob. 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 There you go. Knob. Uh huh. So this Thank is just called like the volume knob. Like, hey, can you turn it up? Like that they would say that, and they're referring to the volume knob. You could call it a volume wheel because it does spin, but okay. the more natural word or the more common word is knob. Okay, thank you. Uh huh. Any other questions? Uh, can I ask Sophia one question? Yeah. <laughs> uh, where are you from? From Georgia. Georgia. Uh -huh. Okay, Second question. <laughs> <laughs> <Second question. laughs> <laughs> no, I have nothing, but uh, your accent seems to be a Russian. Russian? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I speak Russian as native speaker, so maybe I have some accent. Oh. <laughs> okay, any other questions? <laughs> we didn't Thank speak you. about carpets. Carpets, yes. Um, you can, well, let's see, I think I have a better picture of them. I think they say it's bad. Okay, so these, this is, um, the, yeah, so you have, this is called your rear view mirror. Rear, rear view? Rear? Yeah. yeah, rear view, because you use it to look at the rear of your car, so it's called your rear view mirror, like that. Can you see that? I think for to see yeah. the children. For what? For seeing the children. Who sit in the back? Yeah, yeah exactly. You use it <laughs> mostly when you're backing up. You use it also to switch lanes. Children mirror. Rear view mirror. Rear view mirror. Uh huh. And so I just have a little sticker there, a little guy winking. Winky face. Smiley. Yes, that's my smiley <laughs> face right there. Then you have these, which are called. Um, gosh, what are these called? I can't think of the name because you know usually just oh they're oh here they are they're called sun visors. So you use them so they fold down their flaps they fold down and whenever the sun's in yeah. your eyes you fold them down and then obviously the sun's out of your eyes and they also unhook right here and you can put them on the side. Um, so yeah that's those. Um, then, then what is it switch li lanes? Switch lanes. Oh, I just said that. That's um, that's something you do when you're driving. It's like when you're driving and you're in one lane, and you need to go over to the another lane. Like you need mm -hmm. to um, switch lanes. That's that's yeah. what it's called. You switch lanes by looking in your mirrors. So you look oh, in your okay. side view. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
Yep, so that's it. Um, this, and then, can everybody see this black thing right here? Yeah, yeah. Cover. yeah, exactly. Sun cover, sun shade, same thing. Sun cover. Sun shade. Yeah, so you just put that up when you're leaving your car, and you don't want it to be hot when you come back. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, um, okay, I think that's it. Does anybody have any questions before we test you guys on these real quick? No? Okay. So let's see, Erkin, what is this called right here? Erkin, can you hear me? Hold on, hold on. Can you say it one more time, please? Erkin? Oh, you didn't hear it? It's, it's, this is called a rear view mirror. View, view, yeah, like this. Right here. Rear view mirror. You got that, Erkin? Yes, thank you. Uh-huh, of course. Okay. Then we have Erdem. Erdem, what are these things called? This this thing and this thing. What are those called? Sun viewer. Sun visors. Sorry? Uh, sun visors. Sun visors. Just like that. Sun visors. Visors. Yep. Good job. Uh huh. Okay. Um. Junaid. Um. Junaid. Yeah. Junaid. What is uh this thing called? It's called sun shade. Yep. Perfect. Uh huh. Um. Wait, Junaid. I have a question for you, real quick. You live in Tucson, right? Yes. Do you go to the University of Arizona? Yes. Okay. Are you from Tucson? No, I I'm from Iraq, but uh, I live now in Tucson. You're from where? Iraq. Iraq. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, just wondering. Okay, good job. Um, so, let's see. We need here the sun uh, shades. Yeah, sun shade exactly. So sun shade, um, sun cover, same thing. Yep. Um. Okay. Then Newman, are you there? No? Okay. Next we have Sophia. Um, let's see. Which one did I not go over? I think, it, actually, I think that's all of them. Sorry, Sophia. We're moving on to the next picture. So this, somebody asked what the middle console was, or the console. This thing right here is called a middle console. Uh -huh. Who who asked that? Me. Who's me? Uh, Tariq. <laughs> Tadic, okay, thanks. Sorry, I can't see. That's okay. Middle console, yeah. So this is the middle console. So usually people put, you know, CDs. Some people use it as a trash can. Some people um, put change in there. You can put anything in there. Um, and some of them lock. Mine locks too. And you can see right here I have my iPod cord right there. Um, that's what I use it for. I just put, um, like, just my iPod cord there, my sunglasses. This thing right here, does anybody know what this is? Handbrake? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh-huh. It's called the emergency brake. Emergency brake. Emergency brake, yeah. So if you're going, um, let's see, no, it's usually used for if you're parked on a hill and you want to put like extra security that your car isn't going to roll down the hill, you hold your foot on the brake and then you pull up the emergency brake and then it should be stuck in place. Exactly. We could yeah. have it can also be used drift. if you want to drift. That <laughs> is true, Shane. You can drift with it. People do um, what are called emergency brake slides. So that's if you want to go drifting, which I do not recommend at all, but people do do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for that, Shane. Um, okay, and then right here, you have a seat buckle. Seat buckle. Yeah, so somebody say, like, hey, where's my seat buckle? I need to plug in my seat belt. Buckle. So, yeah, that's just your seat buckle. Belt. And then this thing right here, um, part of the seat buckle, so, like, um, this would be called a button. So if somebody says like, "Hey, can you hit my? Can you unhook my seatbelt?" Then somebody would say, "Yeah, can you hit the button? Like hit the seat buckle button." So that's that. 
Um, I think that's it for this picture. I mean, this right here is obviously just called a seat. Uh huh. So you have two seats in the front, and then I have three seats in the back. So that's that. Um, so we'll test. Sophia, what is this thing called right here? Uh, uh, buckle? Yep, seat buckle. Seat uh -huh. buckle. Seat buckle. Good job. Seat then, buckle or belt buckle? Belt buckle, seat buckle, same thing. Uh -huh. Belt buckle. Belt Thanks buckle. for that, Yasin. I forgot about that. I always say seat buckle, but you can say belt buckle yeah. as well. Belt buckle, seat buckle. Yeah, uh huh. And, um, okay, so what do we have next? Tark? Yes. What is this called right here in the middle? I mentioned Drake. Hand below. Middle console? Yep, uh huh. Good job. Yep, right there. Yeah, this one. Not, not this one, sorry. That's the emergency brake, but yeah. Middle console. Uh huh. Good job. Okay. So now we'll move on to the next picture. Okay, so there's not very much in this picture, but this back row is called the back seat. So it's just like, yeah, like that's my back seat. So I have three seats in my back seat. Um, then this is called um, your seat belt. So that's what you, you strap yourself in with to um, to be safe. That way if you get in a car accident, um, you're not going to go flying through the windshield. Mm -hmm. So you, you have the seat buckle for protection, for safety. Then this thing is just called the seat. It's also called like the seat buckle. Like I need a buckle. Seat hook? Yeah, seat belt hook, hook. Belt hook. Yeah, there are tons of names. Belt belt buckle too, um, like you might use the same term or the same word, the same name for that too. So belt buckle, just like that. Um, then you just have your back seat. Oh, and then I forgot to mention this thing. Does anything know what this is called? Uh, head holder. Yeah, head. It's a head. It holds your head right. Uh huh. But it's actually called a head rest. Head rest. Head rest. Oh, uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> so, so you can usually adjust your headrest by you know moving it up and down, but yeah, it's called a headrest. So you have a headrest here, headrest here, and then one on the driver's seat and one on the other seat over here. So yeah, that's the headrest. Then right here you have the the back seat. You have the middle belt buckle. You have the side belt buckle. So that just refers to the location of it. So um, let's see, Yasin. What is this yes. called? Uh, headrest. Uh -huh. he uh -huh. Yeah, headrest is the most common term. I don't know. You could say head holder, and people would understand you, but it's mostly just called a headrest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good job. Okay, um, and then I think we're back to Erdem. Or no, we have Ali. Hello, Ali. Hello. Okay, um, so I don't know if you were here, but... Do you know what this long thing is called? Uh, seat buckle. Yes, or seat belt is actually the the more common. I mean, this is the belt buckle, but this is usually called the seat belt. But yeah, good job. Okay, um, and I think that's it for for this picture. Let's see. Okay, I have a lot of trash on the ground. <laughs> um. Okay, right here. So, um, let's see if I can rotate this picture. Yes, okay. So this is what I was trying to get a picture of, the uh, the shifter, so the different gears. Mm -hmm. So, right here, right now it's in the P, which stands for park. Parking. Yeah, so if, if you're going to stop your car, somebody might say like, hey, put your car in park. So, you have to hold in the button on the shifter, and then you push it forward, and it will move into park. So you also mm -hmm. have to have your foot on the brake, which I'm sure you all know. Um, then the R stands for res re reverse. 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 So that's to move backwards. Uh huh. Then the middle, you have neutral. Mm -hmm. So that means you're not in any gears. So let's say your car is out of gas and you need to push it. Then you're going to put it in neutral, and then the car can move freely um, without being turned on. So that's neutral. Mm -hmm. Then you have drive, which is the D. So you have reverse, neutral, drive. 
So okay. that's any time you're, you're usually deriving. So you're just going to have it in D, which stands for derive. Then um, you have second gear, uh, like that, or first gear. And first gear. So that's going to be when you're going up a hill, maybe, or maybe going down a hill. You could also put it in neutral if you're going down a hill, but um, usually when you're going up a hill and it's steep, you might need to put it in second gear, which means you're accelerating a lot faster. But you're also when you're not when it's in second gear, and you're not um, holding down the gas pedal, then you're deaccelerating faster, because when you have it in drive and you're not hitting the gas, it's like it's in neutral, kind of. Mm -hmm. Does it, does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. Okay. I know it's uh, well control the tears. I don't know its name is clear yeah. in uh, English. Um, yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. It's called, um, uh, I can't, I don't know cars very well, but I'm trying to think of what it's called. It's, it's like a something fly. Circle. It's like a gear, it's like, I want to say it's like gear fly or some. I don't know. I bet if you Googled it, it you could come up with, with something, but I'm not sure on the name, but I know what you're talking about because the gears are like, um, what you do is you hold in the brake and when you move the shifter, something like unlocks and then like you can switch gears basically. Um, but yeah, that's so that's that. Um, let's trust. see. Is it trust? Or like not? transmission? Mm. No, 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 not this. It's like a circle, uh, and uh, it has. Uh, I don't know how to uh, describe it. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I can't think of the name though. Um, maybe, maybe I can. I can. Might be able to find it on here. Like a gear fly, uh, like shift. Um, I don't know. I know what you're talking about. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure. Yes, and sorry about that. Don't worry. Okay. So yeah. So that's all that. So let's see. Um, where'd you guys go? There you are. Okay. Erkan. Uh, it's called gear. Just a gear. I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh, no, no, Con carry on. Okay, thanks, Yasin. Okay, um, Erkan, so what does the P stand for? P, luck. Good job, uh-huh. Okay, then, um, uh, Erdem, what does the R stand for? Erdem, can you hear us? Sorry, 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 reverse. Uh yeah, what does the R stand for right here in the gear shifter? Mm -hmm. Reverse. Reverse. Uh huh. Good job. Reverse. And then Junaid. Yeah. What does the N stand for? Uh, I think neutral. Yep. Good job. Uh huh. You're correct. Okay. And then um, the D. Um, Sophia. It's drive. Drive. Good job. Uh huh. Um, then. Tark, what does... Joseph, Joseph, sorry. Joseph? Yes? Uh, reverse, uh, repeat, please. What did you say? Can I, can I write it? Okay. Reverse. So here, I'll just go through like what we've said so far. So park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Reverse, so park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Did that answer your question? Uh huh. Of course. Okay. Um. So, Tark, what does the two stand for? Uh, second gear. Good job. Uh huh. And then, um, Shane, what does the one stand for? Uh, gear one. <laughs> yeah, gear one or first gear. Uh huh. First gear. Yeah. Yeah. Pin your gear. What is it called? Pin your gear. I think. How do you spell that? P E N I O R. No, this P is manual. E. P Pinal gear. P I maybe Pinor. P I. Okay, so that's with the manual. I think with the manual. It sounds. It looks like it's Pinal gear, like that. I'm guessing. No, no. Pinal gear. No. It's P I O N E R. <laughs> P I N O E R. No P I. Okay, so, um, I just have a little bit more. So let's see. 
Yes, I do not have very much gas. <laughs> so right here is the uh, gas gauge, is what um, it's usually called. So you can you could say like, oh, I don't have a, I have like no gas in my gas tank, or you could say like, my gas. Out of gas. Yeah, exactly, out of gas. I forgot how to spell gauge. Um, let's see. There you go. So it's pronounced gauge. So gauge. gas gauge. Uh huh. So that's this right here. Then you have the speedometer, which I forgot who was asking about that before. Can we call it gasometer? Um, you could say like gas gauge sounds the most natural, but gas meter. You could say that, and you would be understood. But I, I've never, I've never said that. But yeah, you could. That's that's technically correct. Well, a it, fuel meter. Fuel meter sounds better. Mm -hmm. Fuel fuel meter. Uh huh. Good job, Yasin. Okay. Um, then, so here's the other side of that steering wheel lock that I was talking about. So it holds the wheel. Then right here, you have your lights. So on most automatic cars, your lights come on automatically. But since my car is very old, you have to turn them on manually. So you see this little dot is on the off part. So if I move it to this one right here, then that will turn my lights on. So that you just that's like called turning your lights on. It's not it's like a this thing's called a knob again, like you could say your lights knob. But that's that. Then this one right here, that's called your brights. So that's when your lights are on, they're a lot brighter, and that's maybe when you're driving, you know, late at night in somewhere where maybe near a forest where there aren't many street lights. So if you want to be able to see the road better, you turn on your brights. Or, okay, so you see how, you guys see how this thing is like a long, uh, kind of like a long rod? So long like this, beam? this, yeah, like beam, okay, sure, beam. So this thing right here, you can actually move it backwards. So if I put my hand on, on one side of it and pushed it backwards, then my lights would flash. So sometimes what people do is they, they flash, it's called flashing your lights. Like that. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Flashing your lights. Um, and so what that means is you your lights flash, they flicker, and you usually do that if somebody is driving past you and their lights are off. So you might flash your lights at them. Or if you're at a, a, a four-way stop, like an intersection, and you want somebody to go before you, you might flash your lights at them. So that's another cool thing. So you can kind of see right here, there's a little diagram for it. If you push that long beam, the long rod backwards, and then let go, then that'll flash your lights. Um, so that's that. Flicker. Yeah, flicker. So you might flicker your lights. That's a verb. So just flicker your okay. lights. Um. Then this and thing. Yo, yes. What uh -huh. is the? Uh, sorry to interrupt. What is the name of the tool for driving? I just uh, miss uh, uh, it. Oh, um, the tool for driving, like like your uh, your key. No key. The the steering round wheel. one. Steering wheel. Oh, steering wheel. Uh huh. Yep. Steering wheel. This yes. one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this one. <laughs> Can we say steering wheel? <laughs> Steering knob? No. Steering what? Steering. You you say steering wheel. You could say knob, but again, it's it's mostly just called a wheel, like your steering wheel. So I know that's confusing because, um, like you want to use wheel when you can use knob, but this this device or this piece of the car is just called the steering wheel mostly. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. Good question, though, Yasin. Um, Time is so, up, I think. Yeah. Okay. Two o'clock. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, turn, turn that off. Okay. Well, I'm glad all of you came today, and I really hope that helped. And um, I hope you all have a good day. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Joe. Yep. Of course. Thanks for coming, guys. See you later. Thank you. See you later.